Hi, I'm Tim Berglund. We're going to spin up a three node cluster in the cloud with the Ops Center Lifecycle Manager. Now, suppose you want to spin up a real cluster in the cloud. Uh, that sounds like a lot of work. You have to spin up the cloud instances, you have to download Datastax Enterprise to each one, and you have to get everything individually configured. And maybe this is just for your own testing, but it's starting to look real and to present real operational challenges. You would much rather use Ops Center Lifecycle Manager for something like this. Let's take it from the top. I'm going to download and install Ops Center on my Mac. It's basically the same procedure on Linux. I'll download it with curl. That's my Datastax Academy username and password there. Uh, if you don't have a DSA account, go make one. At this point, Ops Center is ready to run. Building a cluster is a big deal, so LCM does have a few steps for us to go through. It's actually going to SSH into our cloud instances, which means you'll have to get the key pair from the cloud provider for each instance and have that private key ready on the clipboard to paste in here. In this recipe, I'm not showing you how to spin up cloud instances. I'm assuming you've got that down already. All you need is the IP addresses of the servers you've created and the private keys from each one. We're going to set up one key per server. In a production deployment, you might simplify that a little bit, but this works fine here. Enter all three keys under SSH credentials with sensible names for each. Ops Center is going to install Datastax Enterprise automatically, so you'll need to tell it what repository to go to to get the download image. As usual, you'll use your Datastax Academy login credentials here. Next, you'll create what's called a configuration profile. Now, in the broader scope of Lifecycle Manager, there is a lot more to say about these. You can use them to manage lots of different kinds of cluster configurations. But here, we're just going to create a single profile for our small demo cluster. Finally, we create that cluster. Every node in this cluster will default to the same configuration profile. We'll create a single data center and then populate that data center with each of our three nodes. We have to create each node explicitly in Lifecycle Manager because we need to tell each about its IP address and its private key. Then we can install the cluster. This takes a few minutes because Ops Center is SSHing into each node and downloading the whole Datastax Enterprise installation to each one. When it's done, you're done. You can see your cluster in Ops Center and have full management control of it. And you can run your application code against it too. You are ready to go.